Today, we will read a story about animal tracks, but before that, let's get familiar with some words first. Flutter. Can you see a hummingbird's wings fluttering? When something flutters, it moves in quick little movements. We also say that things flutter to the ground when they seem to dance back and forth in the air, like leaves or snowflakes sometimes do. Tracks. We can see animal footprints in this picture. It looks like an animal has been walking in the snow. You can tell because the animal has left tracks behind. Tracks are the outline of feet, paws, or hooves. People can follow an animal's tracks to find out where the animal went. Look at the box in the corner. What does it show? Yes, the train runs on tracks. Tracks are also the rails that trains run on. Stream. We can see a little river in the picture. A little river is called a stream. Hoof. What is the arrow pointing to in this picture? Yes, a horse's foot. A hoof is the foot of an animal like a horse, goat, or deer. Sink. We can see a toy boat. I think it's going to sink. When something sinks, it goes under the water. Things can sink into mud or snow, too. For example, when you're walking, your feet can sink into mud or snow. Look at the little box in the corner. Sink is a word that means more than one thing. It means to go under something like water, and it also names the thing we wash our hands in. Prepare. When you prepare for something, you get ready for it. What do you think these people are going to prepare? Yes, food. Ruined. When something is ruined, it is destroyed. In this picture, someone spilled water all over it and the ink is smeared so you can't read it. This paper is ruined. Record. A record is information left behind or collected and written down. Your birth certificate is a record of your birth. It tells where and when you were born, how much you weighed, and who your parents are. Look at the picture. When you go for a checkup, the doctor measures you and writes down your height and weight. The doctor keeps a record of things about you. Animals leave a record of where they've been with the tracks they make. Direction. The way something is pointing or moving is the direction it is going. Point with your finger to show which direction the girl in the picture is going. Broad. Broad means the same thing as wide. Look at the two ribbons in the picture. Which one is broad? Yes, the red one. Next, let's move to today's story, Making Tracks. The exhausted family had reached the cabin in the snowy woods at last. And that's the end of the story, said Jordan's dad, closing the book. Jordan and Tiana were in the mood for a snow story. It had snowed so hard that they hadn't even been able to go out and play today. But now the snow had almost stopped. The kids looked out the window and watched a few snowflakes flutter to the ground. What are you going to do when we go outside tomorrow, Tiana? Asked Jordan. I'm going to make a snow cat, she answered, cuddling Apricot, their cat. Jordan said, I'm going to look for animal tracks in the snow. Did you know animals leave a record of where they've been? Mr. Chen taught us about it in school. Hey, Dad, do you think we could go out now? Mr. Chen says the best way to get animals to make tracks in your yard is to smooth out a patch of snow and then put bird seed or peanut butter on it. Jordan's dad thought this sounded like a good idea. He put on his boots and helped Jordan and Tiana put their snowsuits and boots over their pajamas. Where are you going at this time of night? Asked Jordan's mom. It's almost time for bed. We're going to prepare the yard for animal visits, answered Jordan, holding up the bird seed and peanut butter. We'll find out which animals came by to eat the seeds and peanut butter by looking at the tracks they leave in the snow. The next morning, the snow sparkled like diamonds in the sun. When Jordan and Tiana went outside, a bunch of the neighborhood kids were already making a snowman. Tiana ran to join Caroline and Maggie. David, who had been making a snow fort, saw Jordan squatting down in his front yard and went over to ask what he was doing. I was looking for animal tracks, explained Jordan, pointing to some long marks left by sleds, but it looks like someone has ruined any tracks the animals left. Maybe there are some tracks by the stream, suggested David. David ran to tell his mom where they were going. Then the boys started to walk in the direction of the stream behind their houses. It wasn't long before they saw the first set of tiny tracks. 
It looks like this animal has long toes. Hmm, said David. And look at this, said Jordan, pointing to some nutshells on the ground. It must be a squirrel then, figured David. Squirrels need those long toes to climb trees, and here's where it sat to eat the nuts. The boys kept looking around. Here are some more tracks, said David, and these look like hands. I bet it's a raccoon, said Jordan. I raccoons have fingers like ours. My dad told me that one time raccoons untied our garbage bags using their little fingers. David froze. Shh, he whispered, pointing to the ground. See how this track is shaped almost like a heart? It's from an animal with a hoof. Just then, the boys heard a rustling sound. They looked up just in time to see a beautiful deer glance at them and dash away through the trees. The two boys looked at each other with broad smiles, amazed that they had seen a deer this close up. The boys walked on, their feet sinking into the deep snow near the stream. Hey David, look at this, yelled Jordan. What kind of animal do you think made these tracks? They're a really funny shape, they're big too. David studied the tracks for a minute, then began to laugh out loud. Oh, this is a very scary animal, he told Jordan. Very scary. Suddenly, there was giggling, and Tiana, Maggie, and Caroline jumped out from behind a tree where they'd been hiding. Just as I thought, said David. Jordan, meet the maker of these tracks, the Tiana Caroline Maggie monster. The End